the alchemy table that I'm going to build is going to be, you know, about 30 inches wide, maybe about 8 feet long. And the way that I'm going to do it is when I'm, when I'm all done with it, the top will be flushed out with this. So this one's going to be a little bit interesting here. It's not like I could take this, my new alchemy table that I'm building, and attach it straight to this table saw, which I will. But what I might do with this particular one here, because the motor's hanging off the back with this um, Craftsman contractor saw, I might attach an alchemy table of some sort to this, so I can have these miter saws right on into it. And then the alchemy table, the real one that I'm building right now, will just be able to um, merge right in with it. So hopefully something that you get an idea from and um, use for yourself. Here's some of the cabinets that I'm dealing with. Extra countertop here. These are just um, recycled, reclaimed cabinets. Okay, so first thing I decided to do is put a little miniature one foot um, out feed table on the actual unit itself because of the motor, see here. So for that reason, it's gonna be a lot easier to try to do what I'm gonna do with the rest of the out feed table. But the out feed table is gonna also be a workbench. I have it just sit here, it's mocked up, it's pretty strong. I'm gonna have to ride these grooves in and um, cut this off here. I took a um, piece of two inch wide poplar and I planed it down to the height that I needed. I ended up using the part of the Beesmire L metal or angle iron, some would say. And I just fastened it with some bolts going down the line. I'll cut backwards so I don't get any chips in the laminate. I went about a sixteenth bigger on both sides, so in the future I won't have problems with the rubbing. That was pretty good. Plenty of power. So notice when the plate's fully extended at an angle, you can see that that motor and the plate that the motor's mounted to goes all the way up and it's in plane with the top of the cast iron. So I'm going to have to take the back side of that little extension that I'm adding and hog it out so that I'll still be able to lift it all the way up at an angle like this. So I had to remove all this extra material here to make it work. So I'm about a sixteenth from the actual laminate. This is the area that would rub if I didn't remove all that extra material. So I was able to get it. Okay, so if I come down here, there's still plenty of room up here for the motor to go up and down as I lift the blade up and there's clearance at the top. All right, so check it out. Uh, I built a little miniature 12 inch outfit table for the back of the saw. I wasn't planning on doing it quite like this, but this is how it came out. Um, so I'll show you what I did, it's not a big deal. And so now the real outfit table that I'm going to build, it's really not even going to be outfit table, which it will be because it will it will catch the my the feed coming out, right? But uh, it'll be more or less a workbench. It'll be a double sided workbench. I can work the one that I'm going to build, I'll be able to work on this side come around and I'll be able to work on it from this side because it's going to have a deep countertop. I'll just show you real quick what I did here. So basically I just brought the Meyer slots through 10 inches, maybe uh, 10 and a half inches at the very end here so sawdust won't build up. I drilled the hole going straight down so that any sawdust or debris could um, escape and it won't build up from my Meyer slot. So this new piece that I just put on, it's set down a 16th below the surface of the cast iron here and all the laminate coming down on the side. So. Uh, it's white, it's not the same shade of white as this one. Uh, this almost has a blue tint, but I had it in stock in the back shed. As far as the way I attached it, because um, I have a bead wire fence, it had some angle iron, some two inch on the back, quarter inch thick. I was able to attach it to that, and uh, I didn't go too crazy as far as reinforcing it with some metal brackets, I just need some plywood brackets. I'll show you the plywood brackets. Over here, pretty much the same thing. But the only difference is I did this little little angle here, this little piece, so it would match the saw, I guess. I didn't want, to, I didn't want this to squatter through. Here's the angle iron. Um, all I did was take some poplar, ripped it to two inches wide, and I ran through the planer, so that way it's only five inches tall. You can see that I'm just slightly down below the cast iron and the rest of it. 